you talk to some business people and what they want is certainty. Yeah. And they can't get it. So they live in this fantasy land of imagining that they have certainty when they don't, but they still keep demanding it. And then when they don't, when things don't work out the way they want them to, they either drop into blame or they drop into craziness. Yeah. So, you know, estimation, right? They say, well, that estimate was wrong. So we have to get better at estimation. And I'm going, you can't, nobody can get better at estimation. It's not possible. (laughs) Yeah. Right. Because something always comes up. Yeah. So if something always comes up, then whatever you estimated is based on the wrong thing. You're estimating the wrong stuff. Yeah. And then they say, well, we'll re-estimate. And I'm going, have you read any books on lean in your life? <laughs> is that we do some work and then something changes and then we do the work over again and then something changes yeah. and we do the same work over again and over and over and over. And that takes up huge amounts of time, which makes your schedule slip even further. Yeah. And yeah. I, it, again, it's kind of crazy making is that the, the um, you know, agile means agile, literally. And the, <laughs> they don't want that though. They want it to be something predictable and rigid and, and uh, yeah. uh, controllable. Embracing in change. Where, there's no, where control is not possible, right? Yeah. And the, yeah. So there you are. And it's a, it's a, you know, often I find that when I come into a company as a consultant, um, depending on the company and the size, it's actually possible to get people to understand and start doing agile stuff. It's just that they never understood what it was. The problem yeah. is not evilness or evilness. If that's the word. The problem is not evil. The problem is lack of education. Yeah. So they don't really understand what it's about. And often when they do understand what's sort of about, what it's about, they actually prefer it over what they're doing now. In other words, somebody who's like an estimate guy saying, I have to have an estimate, you know, when are you going to deliver? And I'm going, well, why are you doing that? And the answer comes back typically as I'm not going to invest $5 million into a project and not know whether it's going to work or not in a year. Yeah. So I've got to have estimates so that I can check progress against the estimate to see if we're going to deliver. And I'm saying, well, what if we actually deliver? Yeah. What if I give you something in two weeks and you can look at it and see if it's right or not, and we can adjust it. And if not, we can move on to the next thing and we'll do the most important stuff first. And that way you know that you're not going to fail because the stuff that really matters, that's done. Yeah. And often people say, gosh, that would be great. Let's do that. (laughs) And then they say, what do you call that? And I go, well, that's agile. And they go, no, 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 that's not agile. (laughs) But (laughs) But the, the point is, is that once you understand that way of thinking, it kind of makes sense. But the larger the organization, the harder it is to get people to work in a different way than what the organization is pushing is that the system, I'm a big systems guy. And the, the agile is a system. It's an organizational system. Mm-hmm. And it encompasses the entire organization, not just the engineering department or a team or something.